What's going on, everybody? This is Pratesh with Kaizen Crypto. What an exciting day. I'm so excited to put this video out. Um, just the event that happened we saw with the Mary Hardfork Combinator, just the buzz happening within the community. Uh, so I wanted to put something together for you guys. Just say a big congratulations to everybody in the Cardano community. What we saw today was the Mary Hardfork Combinator event. So this event is going to bring about native tokens on the Cardano blockchain. There was so much content being put out today. I know Charles Hoskinson put out a whiteboard video. Big Pay did a live stream. There was another live stream from Rick with Digital Fortress. Um, he had a bit of a watch party going on, so I was able to join him for that, as well as some other community members. So it was really nice to get a chance to hang out and just celebrate the moment. Uh, if you do want to check out that live stream, it was a lot of fun. Make sure you head over to uh, Digital Fortress and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all the cool content coming out from Digital Fortress. But in this video today, I wanted to just say big congratulations to everybody and talk about what we saw with the Mary Hardcore Combinator. So now we see people, everybody in the community has the ability now to mint their own native assets on Cardano. So really exciting. There's a couple tools I wanted to show you as well. We're also going to be taking a look at the latest Daedalus flight candidate. So this is where they're doing all the final testing to make sure that the user interface and all the things happening with the back end as well with Daedalus are uh, able to work correctly before we see this moved over to the main candidate for Daedalus. So I'm going to show you that Daedalus flight, um, really cool. We see native assets there. I did put out a tweet saying that if anybody wanted to have some free marketing, I'm doing a, a, a token video here in a couple minutes. So let's see if we get anybody to drop us the token. Uh, but we'll be taking a look at that. And um, yeah, let's get right into it. So I wanted to go ahead and share my screen. Let me see if I can do this here. So screen share, desktop. Okay, awesome. So I'm in the corner there. I've got Daedalus Flight. Very cool. So we've got the Beer Money Wallet pulled up. Let me see if I can make me a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to put myself down here. Okay. So this is the Daedalus Flight candidate. So this is a live version of the test candidate that they have for Daedalus. Now, the reason me saying that it's live is because whatever ADA that you're transacting within this flight candidate is real money. So it's very important that you consider that. This is typically something you would see people who are familiar with Daedalus are going to be trying to test out and whatnot. So, you know, if you're not familiar with Daedalus, I would suggest just wait for mainnet. I think that's going to be the best option for you as far as not risking any funds. Uh, so something to keep in mind with Daedalus Flight, it is a live version. So any ADA that you're using, it is real ADA. Uh, but this is essentially where they go to test all the functionality before it gets rolled over to the main version. So taking a look at the wallets, we see here one thing that's very new. Uh, they did put a conversion here for the currency and the value that you're looking at. So you can convert ADA to dollars or to Bitcoin or uh, various other types of currencies. And then as far as tokens, this is really cool. We see tokens listed here underneath our main ADA balance. So it looks like nobody has uh, sent us over some tokens for testing purposes. So no free marketing today. Sorry about that, guys. So uh, if you didn't see that tweet, but um, either way, I think it's still really cool. If you do have native tokens, you are able to see that here in the wallet. You can click on it. It'll give you a whole bunch of information related to that token. Uh, if you guys want to stay tuned for future content, looking at this in more detail, when we do see this actually live on the mainnet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm definitely going to be doing some tutorials as well, talking about how to go through the process of using the graphical user interface when it does become available to make your own native tokens. Currently, as far as being able to mint native tokens, the command line interface is the tool that we'll see currently being used to create these native assets. And I would say that most people who would be using such a tool are going to be people like stake pool operators and more technical users for Cardano. Uh, but not to worry, for the everyday person, just the average ADA holder, you'll have that availability very soon with the graphical user interface. So really cool to see that. If you do click on learn more, this button right here, this is going to take you to a blog post from IOHK going into more detail on native tokens. But before we do that, let me show you this really cool tool that I found. So this is that article that you'll go to if you click on that button. Um, so pooltool.io. So big thank you to Papa Carp. We've got the team at Pool Tool. We've got Love, Pega, and Sky Stake Pools bringing us awesome tools for the Cardano community. Coming out with tokentool.io. So this is a really cool uh, 
pay to be able to see all the different tokens that are now minted on Cardano. So we were actually on this website during that watch party at Digital Fortress. So again, definitely be sure to check that out. It was a lot of fun. But within the first 10 minutes of the turn of the epoch, we saw after the Mary Hard Fork Combinator taking place, there was almost like hundred different tokens that came about on the Cardano blockchain. So it's just really cool, really, really cool to see all this. And we can see it's just listed here. So we've got the name of the token, we've got the policy ID. So the policy ID relates to the monetary policy. So what that would be essentially is the amount of tokens that will be minted, uh, this uh, information that's related to that, as well as some metadata related to the um, token e economics as well. Uh, first scene, so we see this here, this is the mint date, so all this pretty much Mars 1st, this is like brand new, hot off the press. Uh, we see the quantity, if we click on this blue arrow, we can see actions as well, so we can go into more detail and look at these tokens in more depth. But just scrolling through some of this, so we see Nutcoin right at the top, one Nutcoin. So I think that's from uh, Stake Nuts. So Stake Nuts is a, a stake pool operator. They do a lot of really cool things. They did something with Oracles as well. Um, so I think like first Oracle solution for Cardano, just that's native to the blockchain. So really cool to see that. Uh, Martin with AT ADA, we've got a million AT ADA coin. So that's pretty awesome. Um, I did want to point this out here as well. Uh, we can see some other cryptocurrencies now showing as native tokens on Cardano. So this is really cool to point out that we see here ADA token. So not to get confused with the ADA cryptocurrency, the actual token or the cryptocurrency used that's meant for the Cardano blockchain. Of course, now we can't even consider ADA as the only native ADA cryptocurrency because now we have native ADA token. So you want to be very careful, right? This is, a, this is not the official ADA token, as we can see here, the quantity is 10 ADA. Um, if, if you are concerned about which is the correct ADA, uh, this ADA, this token is not going to appear in the main wallet balance of your Daedalus wallet. See right here, it shows the ADA balance. And then any tokens that are native to the blockchain are going to be separate under that. So that's a one way to tell the difference, but it's not to get confused with the actual ADA token. So interesting to see that popping up right on the day, right? March 1st. So this stuff happens quick, guys. It's it's pretty crazy to keep track of all of it. Uh, we've got BTC token, Audi token, iPad token, Twitter token, Apple. Okay. We've got Bitcoin, BMW, Cisco, iPhone. So yeah, there's a lot of tokens happening here, guys. Uh, just taking a look at this on the website, we've got over 230 tokens currently that are on the Cardano blockchain within the first hour of the Mary Hardcore Combinator event. So pretty crazy, pretty crazy to think about. Uh, another tool I wanted to just show you. So if we take a look at another website, this is from adapools.org. They have come out with cardanoassets.com. This website just went live today um, in support of all the tokens now we see with the Mary Hard Fork. So another really great resource if you're interested in keeping up with all the tokens that are going to be minted on the Cardano blockchain. So cardanoassets.com. So taking a look at this, we can see if we scroll through just all the different tokens that are minted. And if we take a look at the top, we can see the quantity, daily volume, weekly volume, and monthly volume of the said asset and the date which it was created. So let's take a look. I mean, we can just pick any odd token. Um, I guess let's take a look at Charles token. I saw Charles token here. Yep, there's a Charles and a Hoskinson token. Uh, so we can see there's a million, wait, no, I think that's a billion, 1,000 million. Yeah, so it's just like crazy. Is that a billion? I'm, I think that might be a billion. Um, okay, so if we click on it, so let's take a look. So this is all the information that we see related to the token. Uh, we can see it shows the quantity, shows us the date which was created, shows us the total number of mints. So it shows us the volume here, so trading. So I think that once we'll actually start to see some trading volume, this metric will become a little bit more relevant. Of course, with these tokens right now, not necessarily something you're able to purchase on an exchange just because it's all so new. There hasn't really been any liquidity built for these tokens. Uh, so mint history, it shows us here. One hour ago, this person minted. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, yeah, so it looks like a billion 
Yeah, so a billion Charles tokens. Okay, another one I know a lot of people are curious about is liquid token. Let's take a look at LQ. So LQ, 21,000 billion liquid tokens. Oh man, okay, so huge numbers. Sorry, brain having to do math. Uh, 21 trillion liquid tokens. Okay, so 21 trillion liquid tokens. So let's click on it. Um, quantity, 21 trillion liquid tokens. So we can see here, same type of information shows us if there was any additional mints, if there's ever any additional tokens that are created into circulation, shows us when it was created, uh, volume for the token, shows us the mint history. So guys, really, really cool to take a look at all this information. Let's see if we can kind of use some of these different tools to get more information about what some of these tokens might be. So I want to go back to token tool and I just wanna get an idea of some of these tokens. So let's take a look at ADA token because I think a lot of people might see that as a misconception as to what's the difference between ADA token versus ADA. I think a lot of people might be confused as to if we have all these native tokens, well, what's the purpose and utility behind ADA? So, you know, things such as Babel fees, I did a previous video talking about Babel fees, where if you are a token holder of X and you want to send uh, your token X to, say, if you want to send from Alice to Bob, you would be able to have that transaction get validated by a stake pool operator who would accept your token as payment for that transaction fee. And in doing so, there would be some sort of exchange rate. So that stake pool operator would say, accept your token X at an exchange rate for ADA of three to one. And in doing so, when you submit that transaction, the stake pool operator picks it up, validates the transaction on the network. Essentially, it's forming some sort of an arbitrage where you're able to pay based on that conversion rate to the stake pool operator to cover that transaction fee. So it's pretty technical. That was the concept of Babel fees. I did a video about that uh, just maybe a couple days ago. So if you want to check that out, I think it goes into more detail. We take a look at a example from the IOHK blog post. So that'll hopefully help to explain that. Uh, but ADA is still very necessary to the Cardano blockchain. But native tokens are going to have all the features and benefits you would see for ADA as well. Just depends on how many people are willing to give it value. I guess that's the biggest thing. So if we take a look at ADA token, let's go ahead and click on this blue arrow. Uh, we can see some cool information here for this as well. So shows us at the top, the policy ID, we've got the mint history. So we can see exactly the history as far as the token economics for it, if there was any additional tokens created. Uh, in this instance, this is very interesting. We can see that this token was minted with a supply of 45 billion. They burned the tokens, then they minted one and then they minted nine. So there's currently 10 in circulation. So pretty cool to see all this. Another thing that's really cool I'm looking at here, we can see the address. So now we saw that this 45 billion ADA token was burned and we saw that we had one created and then the UTXO after this nine was created a second time, the UTXO shows us a quantity of 10. So what we can do, let's just have some fun with it. We can copy this address and if we head on over to a Cardano blockchain explorer, so I'm taking a look, if you just type in your search engine Cardano explorer, this is what pops up. If we paste in that address into the Cardano explorer, so this is really cool. What it'll do is it'll show us all the different balances of different tokens within that uh, wallet. So we can take a look and we'll see the address here. This is the ADDR1 address. It shows us the number of transactions, shows us the ADA balance. And this right here, these are all the various tokens we see as the balance for this wallet. So uh, something to look at when you're, when you're looking at these native tokens, you just want to be aware that the... Uh, um, I guess you could say the address for it is going to start with assets. So it's A-S-S-E-T. So that is going to identify a native asset on Cardano. So it's just something to differentiate itself from ADA. So pretty cool. Um, just so much stuff. I mean, I'm trying to keep up with it, guys. It's, it's quite a bit, you know, I'm trying to wrap my head around all the different concepts now we'll see with native tokens on Cardano. Um, of course, for all of our delegators, a big thank you all so much for your continued support. I really do appreciate it. Uh, we are going to be coming out with a Kaizen token. Really excited about that. Uh, we'll do something special for you guys. Don't worry. Uh, and we're also going to be doing some really awesome things with NFTs. 
So still early days. Of course, you guys know this is the day that it happened. So, you know, we're going through the process. We want to make sure we do it right. We want to make sure we take care of everybody who has been supportive of us so far. So guys, really cool. I'm super excited about native assets on Cardano. Let's see if anybody dropped us some beer money. <laughs> so uh, taking a look at Daedalus, I've got beer money. Nope, no free marketing for anybody today. Sorry, guys, but um, maybe next time. So guys, that is what I have for you all here in this video today. If you guys are excited about native tokens, let me know down in the comment section below. If you did enjoy this video here today, please be sure to drop a like for me. And if you want to stay up to date with all the relevant Cardano news, how-to tutorials, and really cool information as we see the move forward with native tokens, make sure you hit that subscribe button. All right, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.